Well, next guest has certainly taken the defeat of New South Wales in the State of Origin series very serious and very hard because he's decided to take up that old adage, if you can't beat them, join them. The gentleman in question is Bryce McElhinney. Well, Bryce, I don't think it's that serious that the fact that we lost the State of Origin, you're heading to Queensland, but you ha are heading to the Sunshine State. Yeah, definitely. Mick, bit, um, bit of sweet, but yeah, I'm going to head up and join the Queenslanders um, and hopefully I might stay up there a bit longer this time around. Yeah, you had a stint up there, what, 12 months ago? Yeah, so I was up there this time last year and um, yeah, I was up there for a good six months with um, Lockie Manselman and then made the move back home. And you enjoyed some success driving? Yeah, definitely had a bit of success up there in the few months I was up there. Um, races are definitely different up there and that's probably what's made the move a bit easier on me this time in. Um, I just think the racing up there is probably a bit better off for me where the Sydney side, it's probably a bit tough on me. And who are you joining this time around? Uh, I'll be joining the Daryl Graham stables up there. Um, at their new setup in Queensland, so um, looking forward to joining their stables. Well, we certainly know Darrell's reputation, second to none, and certainly that'll be great for you because there'll be a lot of opportunities. Yeah, most definitely. When I was up there previously, Darrell gave me um, a few opportunities and um, I run a few placings for him, so it'll be good to get in amongst it and be a part of the stable. You taking any runners with you? Uh, yeah, I'll be taking Rock Supreme, who was successful here on Tuesday. Um, he went up there for a stint with me last prep and um, he won a couple races up there and raced really good, so looking forward to what his future holds. You went through the Mini Trotters ranks and you've now been training and driving for how long, Bryce? Uh, yeah, I went through the Mini Trotters and um, since the age of 16, been driving and training. Um, been had a couple of my own over the years, but yeah, about six or seven years now. You've had a very solid grounding as far as some wonderful trainers here in New South Wales. Yeah, most definitely had, um, I've had definitely been amongst the best in the business. Um, Paul Fitzpatrick, Blake Fitzpatrick, Lucky Lodge, um, now based at McDow um, the Allied Express Racing Stables of Dean and Kerry McDowell. And um, obviously growing up, my mentor has been Glenn McElhinney, who's probably one of the best drivers in New South Wales, still to this day, um, even showing his age, but still can get the odd roughy up every now and then. Breaking up that Rabbitoh combination. Yeah, definitely. Macri's a mad diehard Rabbitohs fan and he got me hooked into him as well. So I'm probably not as much as a fan as he is, but yeah, definitely the Rabbitohs flow strong in our family. And Bryce, how many winners are you heading north with under your belt? Uh, I've got 14 winners under my belt at the minute, but hopefully moving up to Queensland in the next few months can get a few more under my belt too. Well, Bryce, good luck. No doubt uh, the G Mac will fill your void and keep us all on our toes but good luck with the new move and hopefully under the uh, guidance of Daryl Graham plenty of winners will come your way. Thanks Mick, I really appreciate it. Yeah, hope the winners come strong and um, hopefully I enjoy my time up there.